we're back at it. This is definitely not sponsored. Coke, if you wanna sponsor this channel, hit me up. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about what I'm carrying for the month of June. You guys seem to love these videos, so sit back, grab a cold one, and let's get it. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Everyday Minimalist. My name is Brandon and I hope you're having a good day. As I said in the intro of this video, we're gonna be doing a pocket dump for the month of June. This is all stuff that I'm gonna be carrying for the entirety of this month and all the products that I'm carrying, I can recommend to all of you. Before we get too deep into this video, I wanted to just give you guys a heads up. I will be giving a knife away with Urban EDC Supply. So stay until the end if you wanna know those details. But let's just go ahead and jump right into it. And you guys will know I am actually wearing this sling. This is a sling that I picked up at Urban Outfitters down in Topanga, California. A lot of people are gonna call these, you know, fanny packs, man purses, whatever you wanna call them, satchels. I just like to call it a sling bag. And I was actually looking for a specific sling bag that would work with my carry. This is the Obey sling bag, and it's just really kind of like square, and I really dig the overall aesthetic. They go for about 40 bucks, and if I can find one on Urban Outfitters website, then I'll just link it below. But yeah, this thing has four different compartments. You've got one here at the back. You've got another big one here in the back side. There is one on the front as well as on the front top side. And the reason why a sling bag is so much more convenient for me is because I personally carry a backpack around with me all the time. However, it gets super heavy. So I've got my camera gear, you know, four different lenses. I've got a couple pouches in there and then a MacBook Pro. Now that can get super heavy. So on the weekends, I do want to have my pouch on me at all times, whether it's a garage built gear, Mighty Pouch Plus, or if I've got like a Rover EDC pouch, it just makes it a lot more convenient, especially going into the summer to have one of these. It's got a ton of space. I can fit my phone, wallet, keys, two pouches, and then some other stuff into this thing. For 40 bucks, you can't really beat that, but let's go ahead and dive into what's inside this sling bag. The first thing I wanted to showcase would be my EDC flashlight of choice. Now this is considered more of a full size flashlight and it is none other than the Olight M2R Warrior Pro. The M2R Warrior Pro is just a really nice size. It's not as thick as like a Seeker Pro. It's got this tail switch that I absolutely adore. I believe I paid anywhere between like 100 to 120 bucks for this one specifically. And it's just been super convenient to have a flashlight on me, especially if I'm working within dark environments. Recently, I've been working on the Forerunner a ton and this thing is also magnetic. You can literally just magnetize this to like your hood or if you have other metal components on your vehicle. I also love how this thing charges. You literally just just connect it like that and then it's ready to go. I believe there's an M3R now. Don't quote me on that. If there is, I'll be leaving again a link in the description below so you guys can grab one of these. The next thing I have inside the sling bag is gonna be this Cranky Hanks mini micro pouch. I've got the Starco Gear Ranger Eye here. Shout outs to Donnie for sending that out. And then inside the micro pouch from Cranky Hanks again is gonna be the Starco 8-bit of course. Along with the JRW Curator bead, this thing is still in my rotation. It's made of G10, worth a ton of money, but the biggest thing that I love about it is just the fidget factor and then knowing that this thing is very valuable. It's just kind of like a worry stone slash piece of pocket art. When I take this out and show new people what this thing is, they're kind of astonished on what it's actually about and you can probably figure it out. It's an SFK. Donnie likes to say that it's a cigar holder. Whatever you want to call it, that is what it is. The 8-bit is going to be in the collection for a while. I can guarantee you that and I do love carrying it. The next thing inside the sling bag is very special and this is from my boy Erling EDC or Ricky and this is a custom pouch that he did collabs with garage built gear. So this is a mighty pouch with his map design across it. This thing has seen absolutely no pocket time just because I wanted to showcase it in this video and what's really cool is just that design that's on the front of this thing. You've got Ricky's signature map here up front and then you've got like a quarter of the top as a loop structure so you can actually apply your own ranger eyes. On the back side, it's just like the Mighty Pouch Plus where you've got a zipper. If you guys haven't seen my review on the Mighty Pouch Plus yet, then just tap or click on this icon here in the corner of the screen. But yeah, this thing is pretty much bone stock. It doesn't come with any of these ranger eyes and this is pretty much what it's gonna look like. Down the road, I'm probably gonna add a custom bead just because that's what I do with my pouches. So here up front, I do have some custom ranger eyes. You'll see that there's two of these and these are from my boy Mads or MB Journal. 
Infernal. These are his Mads Creation V1.5 patches. But the really cool thing about these specific patches are they're glow in the dark. So you can literally just charge it up and then you guys can see that glow. Just check that out. They look fantastic. Next to that, we've got the kanji reef from my boy Dan over at Everyday Patches. I just really dig the overall aesthetic that this provides. You've got kind of like a monochrome aesthetic up top, and then the primary focus is gonna be Ricky's design here. Let's go ahead and jump into the Mighty Pouch and show you guys what's inside. You guys will probably already guess it, the Everyday Minimalist Hank from Renegade EDC. I believe these are sold out now. I'll talk to Chris and see if he's gonna make more of these. But so far, if you went ahead and grabbed one of these, you are probably one of a select few that has one. And if this is your first time, I use Hanks to clean off my camera lenses, my sunglasses, my laptop and computer screens. It's just really handy to have a microfiber textured cloth with you. It also works as a dual purpose to keep things from smacking against each other inside the pouch. Okay, so the first item inside the pouch is gonna be my pen of choice for this month. And that's gonna be the brand new Big Idea Design Dual Side Click Mini. What makes this thing super interesting is it does have a double side click option. So basically you can release the ink on either side, whether it's with your thumb, your index finger, and it's ambidextrous. This is going to be the titanium version with, I believe, PVD black coating. And so far it's worked wonders. I absolutely love the size. It fits within the Mighty Pouch very well, and it just takes up one of these three slots. Next up to that, we've got a flashlight that I absolutely adore, and I think this is the first time that I've brought it to the channel. This is going to be the Streamlight MicroStream. This thing is taking a triple A battery. It goes for about 20 bucks and you can probably find this at any of your local sporting goods store, whether it be Dick's, Home Depot, Amazon, if you have to go online and grab it. But what I really like about this specific one is it's just really nice and blacked out. And just to reiterate, I love blacked out items. This is going to be no exception. The Streamlight MicroStream is just a staple within the e EDC community. I have yet to change the battery on this after about a year and a half of owning it. This thing just usually lives on my nightstand, but I wanted to start carrying it with me every single day just because I love the overall aesthetic. If you guys follow me on Instagram, then you've probably seen this flashlight. Next up to that, this is going to be a pry bar that's pretty much been included in every single pocket dump video, and this is going to be the TMP tiebreaker. I got mine at urbanedcsupply.com. This thing has just worked wonders, and I use all the time just because I have to attach my camera to a, a tripod plate or if I do need to pry something it's just really nice to have it works as a flathead screwdriver and that also has a bit driver here built into the pocket clip if you can find this thing in stock I would definitely suggest grabbing it it's a pretty sweet piece of titanium and of course I'll do my best to leave a link in the description these usually go pretty quick and there's a bunch of different variants behind these three I do have my uh, JRW Cure Curator Flex. This one is in a bright yellow. It isn't an actual curator. So this one goes for, I think like 30 bucks is what Jamie sells them for. And it's just a really nice contrast and pop to everything else that's inside the pouch. This is a worry stone, worry coin, AKA a piece of pocket art. And this is just one of the pieces that I wanted to carry this month. Next up is a tool that I use so often, like you guys have no idea, and that is gonna be the Combat Beads Mark II Bit Driver. One of the most frequent comments that I get when I have this thing on display is what the hell is it and where do I find it? The Mark II Bit Driver is a really solid bit driver. You can actually hold up to three bits here inside the handle. I typically carry a T6, T8, and T10 bits inside the handle, so that way if I need to maintenance a knife, which I get a lot of people asking me to maintenance their knives, by the way. Or if I just want to take apart my knife for fun, this thing is awesome to have on me. This is the satin titanium version. I believe they go for anywhere between like 80 to 100 bucks. Don't quote me on that. Again, just check the description and hopefully these things are in stock when this video releases. If not, then you can go to Urban EDC Supplies website and then sign up for their email newsletter. This is just one of those vital tools that I carry with me all the time, whether it's in my backpack or inside a pouch. 
and it fits right there within the slot. Next to that, this is gonna be my secondary knife and this is a Liang Ma Cuff. The Cuff 3.0 to be exact, this is a monoblock design. It's got a carbon fiber scale here up front and then the locking side is a titanium frame lock. You're looking at an LMAX blade steel and this thing is just really minimalistic, super clean and I just dig the overall design. It's not super heavy, it fits in the pocket well, I can fidget with it and it also fits within the Mighty Pouch Plus. I think these go for about 350 bucks. You can get it at like Blade HQ or directly from Liang Ma. I got this one at Blade Show Texas. And last but not least, this is gonna be the item that is included with Ricky's Mighty Pouch Plus and this is gonna be his custom coin. What makes this one super special is it does have a black leather slip that is custom made with the Erling EDC anchor and inside we've got a really nice blacked out Erling EDC coin. You guys may have seen this in my vlog down at Blade Texas because I did get to handle the prototype variant that Ricky had on hand and this one just has so much detail. The uh, manufacturer that you chose to go with was able to just nail it. If you haven't handled a challenge coin yet, you guys should definitely check this one out specifically. This one so far is my most favorite just because it has that really nice black chrome look. This is gonna be an exclusive deal available from Ricky and also does have a few Ranger eyes that he's gonna be including as well. If you guys wanna be in on this drop because they are extremely limited, go visit Erling EDC, follow him on Instagram and you'll be able to stay up to date. I will be chatting about this in my future live stream. I believe we have it scheduled for the 24th of this month. So stay tuned for that. So that's everything inside the sling bag. Last but not least, let's show you guys what my primary EDC is gonna be for this month. That is going to be the Benchmade Bailout. This one specifically is the M4 variation with the aluminum scales. And my god, I've missed this knife so much. I sold my very first bailout to a viewer because I wanted to get a little bit more camera gear and I heavily regretted it since then. It's been about a year and a half and I finally got my hands on another bailout. So if you're not a fan of the original bug out and how flimsy it feels, this is like the one to go for because this thing feels like an absolute absolute tank. It's still super lightweight. I believe it comes in at like 5.7 ounces. You can abuse the crap out of this thing because it does have that M4 blade steel and I do love that Tonto blade shape. It looks more aesthetically appealing than the bug out in my personal opinion. You've also got a reversible deep carry pocket clip and a glass breaker pommel. This is one of my most heavily regretted items I've ever sold and I'm just so happy to have this one back. It's going to stay in the collection for as long as I can keep it. And of course I wanted to rep one of my favorite brands, which is Benchmade. But there you guys have it. That is gonna be what I'm carrying for the month of June. I know you guys have been waiting the entire video for this, so let's go ahead and show you what we're gonna be giving away. This is a collaboration between Everyday Minimalists and Urban EDC Supply, and that is gonna be their Recluse S model. This is a pretty sweet slip joint. It has a gnarly blade shape, and of course it's made of premium materials like titanium. This one is the Micarta version. I believe they have a JG10 option and a few others. But all you guys have to do to enter to get this knife is basically make a purchase with Urban EDC Supply and check out using code EDM22. This will automatically get you entered into their giveaway. They are going to be announcing it, I believe, on their Instagram on July 4th. The giveaway is going to end this month on the 30th. Some of these items like the Combat Beads Mark II Bit Driver, or if you're trying to get a really nice pry bar, the TMP High Breaker, just make sure that you use EDM22 on checkout. It doesn't give you a discount, but it will get you an extra entry into that giveaway. Aside from that, guys, let me know what you guys are carrying for this month in the comment section below. Thank you to all of my return subscribers, viewers, patrons, channel members. You guys are the ones that are making this channel a thing and hopefully very soon I can get into that full-time position where I can just be pumping out these videos. I've got a brand new series coming out for the Forerunner. Again, that's just gonna be titled Overland Series. Stay tuned for that video coming out here really soon. We did a really nice one night adventure up Tibble Fork Canyon here in Salt Lake City. Now I'm rambling, but anyways, thank you guys so much for dropping by and I guess we'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.